Welcome to another episode of Task Mathematics. Today we're going to have a mini lesson on how do you use the TI30XS multi-view calculator to evaluate radicals. Now the TI30XS multi-view calculator is the calculator used for the task test. You also use it for the GED examination as well. Now I have three examples with radicals. Uh, the first one, we're going to simplify the square root of 128. The second one, it states which expression is equivalent to seven square root 90. And then the last one states express negative three square root 48 in simplest form. Now to solve all three of these questions, we're going to use the calculator. Now, when you get your calculator on the task test, always make sure that when you turn it on, you see up here in the right-hand corner, it says degrees, okay? Your calculator should always be in degrees. Another thing about the calculator is each button serves two functions. So we're evaluating radicals, and if you look through your calculator, you will see the radical symbol right here next to or on top of the x squared button. Now to access the square root function, because it is in green, you're going to need the second function button right here. So the second function button actually gives you access to the square root button. So our first question says simplify the square root of 128. So to enter that into the calculator, we first press second and then the x squared button. Notice that on your calculator, you're going to see the square root function. We're now going to enter 128, one, two, and eight. Notice we have a arrow which is going across. We need to remove that. So we're going to press right here on the gray button on the right. And your last step is to press enter. Once you press enter, notice there's your answer, eight square root two. So it's been simplified. Let's try again. Let's look at number two. Which expression is equivalent to seven square root 90? Now this example is a little bit different than the first one. Notice we have a seven first and always remember, enter as you see it or enter as is. So I'm going to press seven, second function x squared to access the square root function. And now I'm going to enter 90. And as always, our last step is to press the gray across or right button and your final step enter notice our answer 21 square root 10. let's try the last one made sure i got a negative in there express negative 3 square root 48 in simplest form so the first thing we're going to press is the negative remember here's your negative right down here negative. We need a three. Second function, x squared. And then we're going to enter 48 and enter. And there's our answer, negative 12 square root three. I've included the key press history for each problem that we did today with the corresponding answers for practice. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck in your TAS examination.